Today we're going to see if I can show you how to access the dark web in under three minutes. Put three minutes on that clock and let's roll. First things first, type in Tor project into your search engine of choice. Click the link and you'll end up on a website that looks like this, torproject.org. Tor is the onion router. That is what we're gonna be using to access the dark web. Click download. I'm on a Mac, so I'll choose that. We'll allow it. And we'll let it download. It's not very big, which is nice. Let's open this up drag it into the applications folder and it's installed. Okay, Tor. Yes, I do want to trust it. Careful. It pretty much runs like Chrome does and you can tick this box to always connect automatically when you start up the app and you can configure your connection in here. If you're really worried about security and privacy, you probably want to turn off all of the JavaScript functionality. So maybe go to the security thing and then scroll down and click on safest. It'll make websites break and certain things won't work, but if you're doing security research or OSINT stuff, you might need that. If you don't need that, don't worry about it. Let's get rid of this and click connect. Got a little bar along the top. So there we go, we're connected. And when you connect to this network, it's a different part of the internet. It's a whole different system and that's why you need this special browser to do it. There also is no real search engine for it. so. What you can see here is DuckDuckGo, but you can also just browse the normal internet in this Tor browser. You never used to be able to do that. You can, so if you just want to go to GaryRiddell.com, it'll take a minute, but it will work and it'll just load this normal internet page a little bit slowly because it's going through so many hops. If you click on this little circuit thing. It'll show you the route that the traffic is taking to get to my website, so France, Germany, Poland, and then to GaryRuddle.com. Let me just quickly pull up a website that is on the Tor network properly and show you what that looks like. So I'm going to paste it in. I find this online. It's impossible to remember these URLs. You can see at the start we got HTTP, not HTTPS, so it's not encrypted in traditional ways. CIA.gov and then you got all this weird stuff and then it ends in dot onion. Onions have layers, the Tor network has layers to it, you connect through the layers and every site or service on the Tor network ends in dot onion. If we hit go, let's see what happens. Again it'll take a minute but it should take us to the CIA's website on the Tor network. Here we go, CIA, that's it. You can also get to Facebook. Here we go. Facebook at the start and then all this crazy stuff, dot onion. You can also get to ProtonMail. Again, ProtonMail at the start and all this crazy stuff. There we go, Facebook is loaded. ProtonMail will come through eventually. So that's it. That is the dark web. It's not all crazy, terrible stuff that you think it is. That is out there and we will cover that in a separate video. Be very careful what you do. I take no responsibility if you go and download something from some dodgy website and I'll see you next week.